How are you learning to better manage and motivate teams? I'm learning not how to better manage teams. Um, I'm learning how to better motivate teams. Manage teams, I have to hire people for that. I think managing pe teams' time and what they do is one thing. Managing teams' expectations are another. Um, managing when, a, when people come to work for a team, what I expect out of them, what they should expect out of them, what the company expects out of them. I think I tie that into motivation. Um, I, I know when people are up, I know when people are down, I know when things need to get done, um, and I know when the team's output is going to affect the bigger picture for our company. That's the thing I live for in this company. I'm the number one cheerleader. I love being in there and getting things fired up or knowing when it's, you know, knowing when it's the right time to shake things up a little bit. Um, but I think I'm getting much better at, and I think it's important to set expectations for the people when they enter a team. Letting them know this is a very important client because it, or this is a very important project because it's going to allow us to be innovative. And you're working with these three people and these, this person's not good at this, this person's not good at this, and this person's really strong at this. This is where you fit into it. I expect you to um, do A, B, and C. And I believe in you and you're not going to let me down. Let's make sure we do it. If you have a problem, call me. And then being able to be there for them. Uh, that has nothing to do with the management of the team. That has nothing to do with their output. That has to do with letting people know who they are and what I think they... Uh, they'll bring to the company. Or telling them, hey, this is a very important client. Uh, it's a, you know, makes a lot of the company financially stable. It might not be the sexiest thing we do, but you're a huge asset uh, to this company. And uh, you know, we thank you for that, and you allow for these other things to happen. And you know, I want to make sure that you and your team are, are, are continuing to be successful. And you know, it might be easy to make a layup in this case, but if we don't have the best quality, mm -hmm. no matter if you're 100% behind it or not, uh, you're going to jeopardize what our company stands for. And just the fact that I, I firmly believe that, Chris firmly believes that, um, I think is not only motivation, but it's the best management that we can give to our people is, 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 is managing um, what we, sh we expect out of them. Mm.